can be a baddie and a lady. <laughs> Don't do as it pays me. Pays me. Can't let no man play me. Couldn't hey. give a toss if you lot hate me. Hey. Cause I'll never change for nobody. Come babe, come feel on this whole body. Cause I'm locked in. <laughs> Little man, I'm locked in. We're looking in the man. If you're a bad bee, then let me see your hands. Give hey. it bad bitch, bad bitch, bad bitch. Give it bad bitch, bad bitch, bad bitch. Give it bad bitch, bad bitch, bad bitch. Give it bad bitch, bad bitch. Hi guys, um, before we even start chatting, I need you guys to help me do something first of all, and that's ignore my head. I use like these bendy roller things on my natural hair, and I did it yesterday, like, I went out to buy some stuff and I saw the bendy roller and I was just like, let me buy it and try it. And I tried it yesterday on my head, and even when I did it yesterday, like, I didn't do it properly because it wasn't neat at all, but I really, really liked the results that I got, so... I am doing it again today. I'm almost like we keep doing it. And like every single time I do it and I pack my hair in a ponytail, it just gives me like um curled like effects on my hair. I don't know how to explain it without heat, so it's really nice. So you guys this is a new vlog. A new vlog and guess what this vlog is about? Tell you guys what it is. It is it is 25th of July and summer is almost coming to an end unfortunately but my summer is just starting this vlog is going to be a travel prep vlog because your girl is taking trips this August period so I'm traveling to Canada Sha this weekend my parents and my brothers are coming into London we're all going to be in London for a few days before we then go to Canada I'm going to be in Canada for 10 days so that's going to be like my resting period so obviously I'm going to use this week to prepare I've really not done much this week to be honest because I've stopped taking in orders of hair and like others in general just because yeah there's no time anymore for me to be taking any others so i wouldn't be taking others again till i'm back in terms of like getting ready like myself i am going to do my nails i'm going to prep my wig what else as for lashes you people i'm not going to lie last lashes i did i was not satisfied at all so i'm just like i don't know if i'm going to spend that money for lashes again i'd rather spend the money for those um DIY ones that people do these days that they put it by themselves. I've never done it before. So I think as I'm going to do I saw some on Amazon that I liked. Not I like, I've been seeing a lot of people use it on TikTok and I liked it. So I'm thinking of ordering that particular one. I think it's called BQ. So you order the lashes and the glue. I think it also comes with like a lash remover or something like that. So I'm most likely going to use that one um because it's easy oh my god. It's easier to use and it's also cheaper. Any other thing to talk to you guys about? Mm, I don't think so. I think that's all for now because that's all that's happening. You know, I'm just here on my laptop trying to catch up on Big Brother. I'm not going to lie, you guys. I'm such a fan of Big Brother. I've always been, and right now I'm going to find it very difficult to concentrate in life because there's Big Brother to watch. So, Big Brother, I don't waste my time. I 100% enjoy. I just find it very entertaining, like having to see a lot of people with different personalities on your screen, and like they have like different characters. They're funny people there. You know, you're just going to be watching it. People are always attacking people. I'm like, eh, but I used to sit down and be watching people. They don't have things to do with life. Apparently, I actually don't have anything doing my life right now. So why not? And even if I have something to do with my life, I'll still watch Big Brother. But when I'm going out, I'll show you guys when I take off this flexi or flexi whatever thing. So you guys will see what it looks like. Bye. So I'll basically take my app. Pro comb, right? And then just push it up like this. So I don't comb it to the end. I just push it up like this. Like so. guys and good morning good morning today is thursday and today is the day before my parents come not my parents my mom and my brother come into manchester so i'm heading i'm getting ready to go to the gym and then i'll go to aldi right after 
I've decided to make stew and I have a few reasons behind that I wanted to make jello fries but I was like no I'm not going to do it because by the time they eat jello fries once they will now say they are tired of jello fries and they will now be looking at me to cook for them again so I decided to make stew so if you want to eat stew on rice you're free to go if you want to eat stew on pasta you're free to go if you want to eat plantain and stew you're also free to go I just feel like stew would be more versatile as opposed to just making jello fries you know so that's what I'm going to do so after the gym I'm going to enter Aldi my guy and then buy groceries I don't know if it's only me that finds it so difficult to buy groceries any other place except from Aldi because like the prices you'll be seeing in Aldi I just feel like if I buy the slightest grocery from anywhere that's not Aldi I feel so cheated I feel like they've used me so I always stick with Aldi like regardless I guess when people say like Aldi's stuff they're not good quality but I'm just like how bad can it be like it's not like they're selling sports food you know so yeah Aldi is really affordable for me and that's what I that's why I always shop and because it's also close to where I stay so it's even better because it's more accessible don't mind you guys I'm trying to untie my shoe that's the plan for today um, I'm going to be filming um, a pack with me video. In this vlog, I'm not going to talk about this in details because I'll already be doing that in another video. Yes, you guys, I started to braid my hair because yesterday I was like, that, okay, let me treat my wigs, and I just couldn't. I was just like, I don't think I have the mental capacity to wear wigs during this trip. And because of like my job, I always wear wigs because like. You know it's be difficult for me to make wigs when i have braids on because obviously like i have to like try them on all the time so that's why i'm always on wigs so i'm like this opportunity that i have not to be doing anything with concern i started to braid my hair so i'm not even going to give you guys much details about it but all i can say is that in this uk hey they're expensive to braid hair sha like it's really expensive here and they have all sorts of rules can you imagine coming pre plucked hair like actually have to pluck the attachments like I get where they're coming from in terms of having to fast forward and just make the whole process more fast. But I'm like, so if you don't know how to pluck it, okay, what will you now do? Do you understand? I don't want that to like discourage me from the person because like I checked her page, her braids look really nice. So I'm still going to go there with like positive mindset and all. Going down. Doors closing. I always give away too much. Mm. It's like I've got no sense of touch I'm always pouring out my heart No little by little here I'm always pushing things too far Two, five, six, ten drinks at the bar No boundaries, I get too close No little by little here, cause I give my all. Oh, no little by little, I pour out my heart. Oh, no little by little here. I always run at the wall. I'd rather jump and risk the No limits in the sky No little by little here No, no Got stuck on working on myself So I'm just finished working out now And I am going to Aldi To buy the things that I need Remember I said I made a list So as I'm buying my things I'll just be checking them off the list While I shop Yeah, see you guys there
If I tell you people I know why they put this thing inside the oven, I'll be lying. Now my own has gone to go and burn. I don't know my 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 own is always different. The girl is tired. You wouldn't believe I went out looking like this. Like I did. I was looking so crazy. But I'm back home. You guys, guess what? <sighs> my parents. I don't like keep saying my parents. My mom and my brother are supposed to come in tomorrow. But unfortunately, their flight got cancelled. So they moved their flight to next tomorrow. So they no, they moved their flight to tomorrow because they were meant to travel today and then get in tomorrow, right? Like tomorrow morning. But now they've moved their flight to tomorrow, so they'll be getting in Saturday morning. So that simply means that I don't have to cook this night because it doesn't make sense for me to like make the food for them when they're coming in next tomorrow. And then also, gladly, I can't even complain because I was supposed to go braid. I'm not supposed to. I'm going to go braid my hair tomorrow by 12. I have an appointment by 12. And because I told my parents were coming, I had to even beg the hairstylist to give me an appointment by 12 because the appointment she had available was for 11 because I'd have to go to the airport to pick them up and then come back home and then rush out to go and get my hair. So I knew it was going to be a little bit um, choked up for me. So I'm really happy that, you know, things um, worked out this way just because it would give me enough time, you know. Everything happens for a reason, not complaining. And I wouldn't just have to, like, because I was planning, I had to wash my hair this evening um stretch out my attachment cook for them this evening like i had to do all those things today so i knew like i was already kind of like nervous or anxious or whatever because of the amount of things i had to do today and then still wake up very early tomorrow to go to the airport to pick them up so there's actually a lot of things to do but that's what's happening you guys um so tomorrow i'm going to go and do my hair i'm going to sign out i'm signing out today here Good morning guys and today is Friday. Today is the day of my hair appointment. You guys will not believe this UK people they've signed me to what I don't know. I also kick it in my life. In all my years of braiding my hair, I have never been the one to like pre-stretch my attachments like this. Apparently the hairstyle is acts I come with pre-stretched attachments. Can you guys see this bag? I had to prepare my attachments. They also acts that I come with my own hair gel. So she asked that I buy this particular one. So she asked that I come with this particular hair gel that I went out to buy yesterday, if you guys remember. Mm, yeah. But I want to see if I can rush out to go do my nails first before the appointment because I don't know, I don't see the time, any other time I can be able to do my nails. You know what my nails currently look like. I, I showed you guys where I got it done the last vlog. I'm going back to the same salon. Um, the nails actually did try, like it lasted pretty well. Just these two that have fallen off. It's already 9.45. I don't even know how possible it is it's going to be for me to get all this done before time for me to do my hair. But I can only but try, right? My hair is a mess, but I'm going to get it braided, so I don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> Just put the record, just put the record. If they like it, they drop at the door, my door, then no go catch up. Uh, we are going back now. I saw a plane by a mouse. You go do your own guy. They all look the same. <laughs> Which one do you think is similar to this? Bad man, no, they walk up. Man no be God Make them the talker I so they fly like helicopter Now by the grace of God and inshallah We the move mm -hmm. Question But then no get the answer mm -hmm. Question But then no get the answer mm -hmm. Question But then no get the answer
Guess who has new hair and new nails? Is this girl over here? Hi, you guys. I don't even know where to start giving you this just from. Where do I even start from? I left this house looking crazy. Like, I didn't realize how do I was for like a hair appointment or just to get like braids done. I miss braids. Like, I miss getting braids done. I haven't gotten braids since the braids I used to enter inside this country. That was the last time I braided my hair. But aside that, if you guys know the struggle that I struggled today to get all these things done today, I'm just thanking God Almighty that uh, my parents' flights were shift was shifted. Like I said, so he even knew, and he just you know moved their flights so I can have today to sort myself out. Cause I wasn't even acting like someone that was traveling. I mean, I was traveling on Sunday, not at all, because all my decisions were like last minute. The bit I wanted to get my nails done initially, you guys, I walked into the store this morning and then they told me that because i don't book appointments i can't get my nails done because they're already booked and because last time i went there i didn't have to book appointment like i just walked in and got my nails done so i was thinking oh it's probably the same thing and because i was going very early in the morning you know i was thinking they probably wouldn't have like customers by that time but i was wrong clearly so i had to enter inside the tram and the only place I could come to my head that I knew I could easily get like walking appointments was Arndale. The way I walked into that Arndale, I am never walking out. You know, since I came into this UK, I've done my nails three times. The first time I got my nails done, I got them done in Arndale. But if you're in Manchester and you've been to Arndale before, you'd know like inside the market area where you see a lot of Chinese. I won't call it market area, but not like inside the proper mall. There's, if you've been to Arndale, you know I'm talk where I'm talking about. But inside that area, you see more local stores there. And then I got my nails done with like Chinese people inside the area. And then it was the same price I paid today really, but that first nail, I remember clearly, I was not really satisfied because I felt like um, they did not file my nail properly before they installed the nails. And the second place I went to, in my previous vlog, you see, like, I went there because of the aesthetic of the shop. I went there because of the aesthetic of the shop and then the nails were not bad. But well, you know the thing about it, you will know there's something better if you don't try. So that was literally it because I was going back to the previous um, place I got my nails done because I was thinking, oh, like, they are the best I have. You know, best place I've been to since I got here, but these people, these people, they get me like they get me, they got me, they are going to be getting me for the rest of my life because not the rest of my life until I find somewhere better. But I don't know how you can get better than this. Then, for my hair, you guys, this hair, I think I'm going to talk a little bit longer than I planned for this hair because I am so satisfied. I don't think I've ever gone to get my braids done anywhere and got seen this little level of satisfaction before. If you know me very well, like those of my friends that know me, you know I'm a strong believer of charging your work. Yesterday, before I went to get my braids done, um, you guys know how it is here in the UK where you're getting a hair appointment, they have like all sorts of um, rules and regulations. So part of the rules that um, she put out for me was that I had to come with pre-stretch attachment. That doesn't necessarily mean you have to buy your attachment and you know stretch them out. They sell a lot of pre-stretch at attachments here already but because I already came with my attachment from Nigeria, I didn't see the point of me buying a new one. So I decided to stretch out my attachment by myself. So I was already complaining because I'm like, how can I pay all that money and still stretch out my um, attachment by myself. But today, after seeing her make my hair, like I was so impressed. You know when you see someone doing something and then they're doing it to the level of perfection like you see them actively trying to be perfect at it i'm not even saying good i'm not saying great i'm, I'm saying perfect like they're trying to do it perfectly that's that's exactly what i got from her today like girl was actively trying to get my hair like done well she took her time like even the way she was parting like everything you guys i don't even have to talk much you can see it already like how neat the hair is i'm so impressed like i love to see because honestly speaking me i really really wish like i'll get to the point like in my business or whatever i'm doing to that point of like perfection where i know i'm so good and that like, i can hit my chest and be priced and price my products the way i want to i can even brag and be like yeah you probably wouldn't find it better than this and then when you're already very good with your service you can then start adding extra add-ons maybe like good customer service you know like promos, all those other extra things but like the service you're rendering the main reason the person's coming into your shop you are 
good at it i think i'm talking too much but you guys just know how i'm impressed i am um my attachment i got it by myself i use lush hair for this black here it was not planned i ran short of attachment so she included a couple black to fill up which i don't think is bad i think it's even like giving it a different style whatever whatever but all in all said i am satisfied so satisfied yeah so with all that being said my parents are still i don't know why i keep saying my parents my mom and my brother is, are still coming in um tomorrow the only thing about my mom is that she would say it as it is so she enters at my house and she's like oh my god also why is your house so dirty i don't have any energy for that so that's why my bed as you guys can see i don't have sheets on my bed i'm about to change my bed sheet and also cook for them because i'm going to be leaving the house at like 8 a.m tomorrow morning to go pick them from the airport okay and um, i'm going to sort out my life and then sleep because i'm really tired bye guys <laughs> I had to do a quick um hotel what do you even call this thing by the way it's the room tour this is our closet you have boxes and then you come down this staircase and then yeah the bedroom tv that's my back there and yeah so this is a bathroom it has a top this wide mirror uh, I'm going to use and dress up and then this zoom dinner then it also comes with a shower here and then I think this is the toilet yeah this is the toilet and that is my um shuffle have you I don't arrange in the boxes <laughs> Hi guys and good morning. Today is um, Monday, the 31st of July, and I'm here to do my lashes. And this is going to be my last thing I know I have to do in terms of like my beauty prep for travel. Um, I'm currently in London. I'm going to try and vlog the whole London trip. Most likely we'll do it on TikTok, do not on YouTube because I don't want to like overcrowd myself. But that's besides the way, besides the point, sorry. That's besides the point. I'm trying to do my lashes. So I'm using these BK lashes. I've been seeing it everywhere on TikTok. Everywhere on TikTok. I got the style in BO2, DMX. They are very various lengths from 16 
to it. I've never done this before, you guys. My first time. And then I also got it with the lash glue. So it's a bond and seal waterproof dust proof lash glue. Yeah. So this is what we're going to be using. And then I got these two tweezers. I said tweezers. Hey. These two tweezers are from Amazon. Um, this is what I'm going to be using to put the lashes on. I'm most likely going to move my camera to the other side because there's like a more zoomed in there. There, I'll show you guys shortly. So it will just help me to be able to see what I'm doing at the same time film. But these are the tweezers. These two tweezers. Make sure you guys mount. This is what one looks like. It's kind of like a slant bent mount, and the other one is just a regular straight mount. I most likely will be using this one for most of the install so this is the mirror i'm going to be using to show you guys what i'm doing so if you see me bend and look into this mirror that's what i'm doing okay i'm so i'm so scared you guys i'm so scared i hope i don't flop because i didn't move i don't plan on i don't plan on booking any large appointment or anything like that so if this thing doesn't work, I'm just going to have to deal with mascara throughout the whole trip. Um, the lash glue came with some instructions on how to use it. So they said the step one, use bond brush on your lash, natural lashes. Step two, place cluster lashes you want underneath your natural lashes. And then step three, seal on your cluster lashes to make your lashes stay longer. So I'm guessing this is the bond side and then this is the seal side. So I was able to pluck out all my previous lashes. Yes, I'm so scared. Yeah. So I'm going to be doing the cat eyelashes. I'm going to start with length 16. I'll do 116. I think 16 is actually too long. I'll do 14, 12, 10, 8. That's what I'm going to do. Can you guys see there like number? There's like a number system beside the lashes. So I'm going to do maybe 214, 212, 110, and 118. lashes and I can actually feel it my lashes feel quite heavy so I said I'm going to start with 14 take it out put it just right under the natural lashes like so So my eye right now, I have 14, 14, 14, 14, 12, 12, 12, 12. So I want to put 10 now in the innermost corner of the bow eyes. <sighs> you guys, I'm done putting in all the lashes. So the last step is to use the seal to seal it in. So this is the finished look. I don't think it's bad, but I don't know if it's something that I want to keep on doing like all the time in terms of like fixing my lashes. I think maybe because today was the first time and it was a bit stressful for me. That's why maybe subsequently I'll get hang of it and um I might just continue. But what I really like this is the fact that even if it falls off, I still have extra lashes I could still go back in with and use so like replace it. Or whatever this can really do me like four sets or five i can comfortably like do like about four five sets five six sets with this to be honest and save myself a lot of money because the truth about like if you install your lashes and you spend all the money it probably will last you like about two weeks very well then the third week everything is like falling off but i like the finished look to be honest yeah i like the finished look doesn't look bad so yeah that's all for my vacation prep i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and if you did please don't forget to give this video a good thumbs up because i almost lost an eye with this scissor trying to install these lashes please don't forget to give this video a good thumbs up like share and please subscribe you guys are almost at 1000 subscribers and i really 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 would love to get to 1000 subscribers before maybe september you know i just really hope you guys would subscribe after watching this video and i'll catch you guys later but yeah i'll continue to vlog the whole trip you guys this october this august i have a lot of content trust me 
so much content and i can't wait to share it with you guys bye bye see you guys next time